Horde Tremendous here. Got another battle report here for you. Number 13 of my War Machine Horde Saga. This is a 35-point battle. I'm playing against a new guy yet again. And, uh, well, he's he's newer to the game than I am. It's not like I'm a veteran or anything. And, uh, yeah, we, we re-racked after the last game because he felt uh, a little underwhelmed by his victory due to my stupidity. <laughs> so, really, I feel I won that game for him. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't know... <laughs> <laughs> but it is I, Lord Tremendous of Signar, versus the Penitent Man of the Protectorate. Uh, this is just our rematch, so sit back, relax, and get ready to see how this one goes. The Almighty says this must be a fashionable fight. It's drawn the finest people. Here's my list, and I brought Darius back into the fold. I've got him with uh, the Centurion and the Thunderhead attached to him. Of course, he comes with his half jacks. He's also got a Squire attached to him. He's just not in this picture. There he is. There's the Squire. And, of course, the, uh, Arlen Strangeways comes along to help uh, Darius mend his, his jacks, which I'm sure will get the crud beat out of them. And, of course, I have my Journeyman Warcaster with the Hunter attached to him and the Long Gunner Infantry. Keep in mind, it's only a 35-point game. Can't have all the bells and whistles. Here's deployment, and as you can see, it is pretty much straightforward. The Long Gunners are off on the left there. Their job is to clear out uh, my friendly opponent's stuff, I guess, in his little control area. And then the rest of my army is going to try to get into uh, his control area and beat it unmerciful. Or, I've got it reversed. I'm trying to defend mine while having the long gunners clear out his because he's only got his scouts over there so the long gunners did it before i'm hoping they can do it again that was the plan not a whole lot of forethought here's my opponent's right flank which consists of his iridian scouts or something like that and here's the center and forgive me for his arm uh we were just going and when i play these games i tell my opponents to never worry about the camera so he didn't and so he's got his stuff there some of it's hard to see as you can see he's moving his heavy infantry so you know the, the game was the game was on on afterburners what can i tell you here's my center from right to left i've got my charger my baby jack my three half jacks my center or i'm sorry my thunderhead my centurion behind them are is my proxied arlen strangeways darius and his scout or a squire. And my left flank, which consists of my long gunners. Here's the end of my opponent's first turn. And as you can see, he came up kind of cautious with the exception of the scouts. Those scouts ran into that area as fast as they possibly could. So we go into my turn and my long gunners fire away and they take out a handful of the scouts. Not many, but uh, they had to move in order to get in the range. So what can you do? But they did take out a handful of scouts and I'm happy about that. We also did a little bit of damage to his leader. I did two points of damage to him. Uh, not my best rolling in the world, but effective. He's, he's almost half dead. And here's what the uh, table looks like at the end of my turn one. I was kidding. I took my jacks and more than half of my army and I shifted it over to the left to try to clear him out of his control zone. I figured if I could get over there, blast those scouts out of there, I would be able to dominate with Darius and then win the game faster than he could come back over here and deal with me since he was going after my control area. I left the charger and the baby jack over there on the right to just give him something to think about and really that was it. So going to my opponent's turn and his scouts open fire on my jacks and are able to, or I'm sorry, my half jacks and are able to kill one. And that for the most part is it. The rest of his stuff just kind of ran forward, got close. I think his idea was get close, get into the zone, get some points and uh, hopefully destroy, uh, what's it called? My bunker. You know, basically I think he was just going for uncontested points in my, in my area there, which is going to work because I'm an idiot. I should have kept going to the right, changing my strategy at the last second. Like that was really stupid, but that's kind of my MO for these games. I act really stupid. Uh, his scouts came out of his, uh, control area there and ran into my long gunners just to stop them from shooting at him, which was clever. And, uh, yeah, that, that was about it. So we go into my turn, and I'm able to uh, open fire on his light jack. I don't know what it is. Uh, and able to do three points of damage to the five. It's just the charger. It wasn't a great shot. It really wasn't, and I, I blame myself. 
And then my Half-Jacks run up and become bombs in front of these guys, just in case they want to go into my Thunderhead. Hopefully the Power 14 is enough to give them a little bit of hesitation. Maybe not, but it was something. Also, my Thunderhead was able to Lightning Strike the uh, Light Jack on the left there and disrupt it. I was able to crit. And I was also able to crit against the other Jack on my right there, and uh, I was able to uh, disrupt that one as well. So I disrupted both, feeling pretty good about that. And uh, yeah, all in all, not not a terrible uh, turn, or, you know, I guess, setup? I, I really don't know. So here's what the turn looks like at the end of uh, turn two there. Uh, for the most part, my long gunners were able to deal with the uh, scouts pretty well. Strange Ways came up with his spray template and was able to kill a few of them without having to worry about those pesky melee, you know, uh, negatives and stuff like that, which was useful. Uh, Darius stayed put more or less just because I was afraid to move him up. I, I, I'm so nervous with my Warcasters, it's ridiculous. Uh, the Centurion came up just to stop this uh, Thunderhead and everything from being knocked down in case Krios decides to feat because he had Fortify or on him or something like that. Fortitude, Fortify, one of the spells. And uh, for some reason, I put my Baby Caster into the zone in order to dispute it. I don't know why I did that. It was really stupid. And the Charger is in the back. I should have reversed that. I don't know why I did it. Very stupid, and I'm going to pay for it. So here's what the turn looks like, or here's what happens here. Uh, Krios uh, feats, and as you can see, he's measuring, and uh, my baby caster and my charger go down. Uh, everything else is fine because with Fortify, the Halfjack, the Thunderhead, and the Centurion could not be knocked down. So that was useful, to say the least. But his crazy heavy infantry charge into my Thunderhead and beat him practically to death. It's actually very, very bad. He was rolling out of the box. It was frustrating as it was amazing. <laughs> and then his big heavy jack comes in and finishes the Thunderhead off just way too easily, actually. Uh, the boy was rolling hot. What can you do? Then, uh, more out of spite than anything else, he takes a swing at my Centurion, and while he's not able to hurt him, he is able to set him on fire, which isn't great, but it, it's a start, I guess. And then over here, because I'm a total effing idiot, his light jack moves over and blasts uh, my baby caster and my charger with his uh, fire th or his flamethrower, killing my baby jack no problem, and taking out my, or uh, just setting my uh, charger on fire. So just. See, there he is on fire, but just absolutely disgusted with my playing here. So this Jack is shut down completely. He's on fire. I think he took four or five wounds. It's just terrible, terrible playing on my part once again. And I'm, I'm, I'm actually not happy to be me right now. And then over here, uh, his scouts are able to take out a couple of my long gunners, and my long gunners panic, <laughs> so that's too bad. They're going to probably just have to cow there or just suffer a zillion friggin' uh, what's it called, a uh, 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 free strike. So, yeah, yeah, the Long Gunners have realized how terrible I am at this game and have decided that they don't want to work for me anymore. And I gotta be honest, I kind of understand. <laughs> so, here's what the uh, the board looks like at the end of turn three. There's a big pile of pain in the middle there that's going to protect her its way very well. On the right flank, I've got a smoldering baby Warcaster and a shutdown Charger that's also on fire because I'm incompetent as hell. Uh, Darius is in the back going, why did I sign up for this crap? Strange Ways is thinking about running, and the Long Gunners are like, screw this, we're done. Uh, so we go into my turn, and of course, I fail to put the fire out on my Centurion, who takes five points of damage from this damn thing, because my opponent was rolling well. And then uh, the Stormclad being outmatched, and I'm rolling like poop. I'm sorry, the Centurion uh, being outmatched, and I'm rolling like poop. Uh, I end up not doing uh, anything to this guy. I just couldn't hit him, and when I did hit him, I rolled so incredibly low, I might as well not have been rolling dice at all. I think I did like three points of damage to this guy, if that, burning through all my focus. Just absolutely terrible rolling on my part, and uh, it, it fits my play style. What can I tell you? So here's what it looks like at the end of turn three, and I'm just disgusted with myself. Darius has moved up slightly, but I'll be honest with you, there's no way I'm going to win this game. And the only reason I don't concede is because I don't know how to quit. Uh, so Darius moves up uh, just to 
get closer. He brings the squire because why not? They're friends. My centurion is going to die soon, and my long gunners don't have long for this world. I did send strange ways in because I'm terrible with decision making, and he did nothing to the scouts because his mat is raw ass, so he's probably going to die next turn. I should have just shot into the combat. I'm terrible at this game. I just hate myself right now. So we go into my opponent's turn, and all he does is he brings Krios into it so he can dominate this area, uh, and then he six, uh, sticks one of his other things in there. He already had a couple of points earlier. He's going to get three points here. And there's the end of the game. My opponent literally was bored out of his mind. If he played anyone worse, he'd have been playing a, a cardboard cutout. I... I just hate myself after this game. <laughs> I'm so terrible. You would suppose after the amount of games I've played, I'd have been better at this game, but I just keep making some of the worst decisions. I'm really terrible at this game, and I'm actually embarrassed to put this battle report up, but my opponent played very, very well. Uh, for having less experience with this game than I do, he walked through me like I wasn't even there, and to be perfectly honest, the way I played, I might as well not have been. Uh, but yeah, this is exactly what should happen when you're playing an, a competent opponent and an incompetent strategy individual like me. Uh, eventually, I'm going to get good at this game. I don't know when that eventuality is going to occur, but damn it, I'm going to keep playing until I figure it out. Uh, but you know what? We'll get to the recap in a minute because I need a drink. <laughs> Please begin emergency evacuation procedures. This is not a drill. Hey guys and gals, uh, all you Wargamer nuts. Right here we've got an ad for Token Gal. Uh, she makes tokens for every game system, every possible requirement, every need. Uh, if, if it's a war game, if it's a tabletop game, if it's a board game, if it's, if it's a card game, if you need tokens, wound counters, spell counters, uh, afflictions, hexes, augments, uh, anything at all, anything at all, send her an email. Tell her what you need. Hell, if you want certain pictures put on there, tell her what pictures you're looking for. Not only will she find it and make it, but she will charge you, you know, really, really fair prices. And I mean really fair. Don't take my word for it, though. Send her an email. Tell her what you need. Get yourself some tokens. You're not going to regret it. And tell her Tremendous sent you. So I lost to my own stupidity yet again, just in a different way, uh, by scenario. My opponent got five points to my nothing. I ended up losing my Thunderhead and my Baby Caster because I'm completely incompetent at this game. And the Penitent Man lost nothing, not a zip, because he played well against a, a clearly inferior opponent, me. I just, yeah, I, I, I just, I got no excuse. There was no reason for me to play like that. I just suck. Uh, my pro opponent played like a pro. He played very, very well, and everything that should have happened did. And actually, I'm happy that he won, because I didn't deserve to at all. I, I just couldn't get it to click in my head. I, I just couldn't. I'm, I'm so scatterbrained. The shift from Striker to Darius screwed my head up. I, I had the Centurion instead of the Stormclad. Just... I suck. I, I don't know what else to say. I failed tremendously in this game, and everything that happened, I deserved. Uh, my dice were not on my side. When I did pick up dice to roll, they couldn't stop rolling ones or twos, unless it was a command check, in which case, sixes and sevens all day. Yeah, how I rolled a seven on 1d6 is beyond me, but I did it. Tactics and logic, I didn't even use any, and to be perfectly honest, I don't even know what team I was on. <laughs> Just... <laughs> Seriously, I think I'm just going to be the water boy from now on when I play these games. Hand my opponent a drink and, and ask him if he needs anything else, because do I suck. Still trying to figure out why I put my baby caster out there like that into the zone. I, I Just looking at that, I want to beat myself up and take my own lunch money, but it would be counterproductive, and I'd be gaining from my loss. 
<laughs> and you know, even though I'm I'm coming down pretty hard on myself, we still had fun. We were laughing because the whole time I'm like, I don't know why I'm doing this. I I have no clue what I'm doing. And my opponent looked at me like I was the stupidest person on the planet. And at the moment I was, but he was like, Wow, just amazing. Yeah, yeah. It's we still had a good time. We did. Hell, my opponent won. Who doesn't enjoy a victory, even against the guy with the extra chromosome? But yeah, just wow, just wow. I just wish I could get good at this game, and uh, I'm thinking that maybe I just need a change in army. Uh, things just aren't clicking for me with War Machine. I thought they were, but then I have a huge step backwards like this, and I'm back to square one, and I'm disgusted with myself. So, the game is damn fun. Don't get me wrong. I'm still really enjoying this game. I just don't enjoy myself afterwards. It feels like all these mistakes that I'm making, I should be passed by now, and yet I keep making them and uh maybe i'm just never gonna be good at this game i don't know but i'm enjoying it so i'm gonna keep playing it and and that's just the way it is but this was still a good game uh great opponent and i want a rematch because clearly i need more practice <laughs> So, yeah, that's going to do it for this one, guys. Battle report number 13. As always, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or complaints, feel free to put them in the comment section below, and I will get back to you as quick as I can. But, yeah, guys, thanks.